All right, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. May I have a, a small attention, please? Thank you for coming for this uh, fabulous night, the finals of the under 11 Ramadan Junior Challenge. Can I request all the kids over here to give a big round of applause for this fabulous crowd? All right. In return, can I request all the parents to give a fabulous round of applause to your kids? All right, before taking much time, let me introduce my uh, chief guest panel over here. Thank you, sir, Mr. Najib, the assistant coach of UAE national team. It's our honor to have you over here in the finals. Mr. Presley Polonnoviter, the founder and the managing director of uh, Desert Cubs. Mr. Shesha Daltaf, the founder and the managing director of YTCA. And a senior coach, a veteran coach, Prashant Chandra from DS branch of Desert Cubs. A young, a dynamic coach, Dilsara Sasanka from JBS. All right, you can see how much enthusiastic these children now and attached to the coaches. Thank you very much for everybody. Before I move on to the presentation ceremony, may I call Mr. Najib to address the forum. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, uh, everyone, parents, coaches, organizers, and the kids especially. Actually, when Mr. Shahzad told me that uh, we have a under 11 game going going on, which is live. Trust me, I surprised. This is first time I've seen that under 11 level standard live game is going on, which is awesome. Well done, Mr. Shahjad. Congratulations to winner team, and of course runner up. You you have to learn from your mistakes. Okay, Be better luck like next time. All credit goes to these people standing behind me because in this crucial time of COVID, you know. Everybody's you know, under huge stress, but the, keep, the way you guys keep this ground alive, you know, this is, this is remarkable. Thank you so much for these things. And finally, I can see the future here. So as a, as a coach, honestly, I'm really motivated, really uh, pumped up myself that to see you guys here playing this beautiful cricket. So all the best guys in the future, and hopefully to see you, inshallah, over there at the upper stage. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you, Najib. Next, uh, may I call Mr. Presi Polonnoviter to address the forum. Hi, uh, kids and parents. It was a it was a good day. Another final. Uh, there were so many tournaments happening, and I have been addressing in all the finals, telling a lot of things. But uh, most most important thing is what what we see in the center. What you guys do and how passionate you are with your game and your, with your performances and what you want to achieve with your uh, God-given talent, right? So as he said, in the future probably if you do well, you, you will meet these coaches and it is our duty at the junior level to keep you guys ready for those challenges. That's what all our coaches have been working hard and all the academies in UA also working hard to do that. That's why UA cricket is uh, getting top quality players for the under 16 and under 19. Uh, coming back to this tournament, this is uh, uh, Ramadan Cup has been going for ages and we used to play as senior players in Ramadan Cup, myself, uh, Mr. Shesha Daltaf and also Shesha has a lot of vision giving opportunities for kids. If you would have seen what he has done over the period of time, about 15, 16 years, he has given so much opportunities for youngsters to play this game in a much organized manner. I can remember going back to our first tournament win as Desert Cubs as an organization. It was in 2011 when, when we became champions in uh, you know under, under 13 tournament. It was a turning point for Desert Cubs. Yeah, Gulf Cup, Gulf Cup, yeah, Gulf Cup. Then other than that, Four Nation Cup, Emerging League, Ramadan League, so many tournaments he has given children an opportunity so we were discussing, while I was watching the match, I was discussing 
these type of facilities and opportunities uh, hardly come to the other, other children in other countries. If you go to Sri Lanka, Pakistan and India, playing under light, it's a, it's a dream for a youngster like 11 year olds, right? Playing on a turf wicket and having these good clothes and uh, uh, what do you call cricket gear. Those are, those are dream for other, other children. So my request is give your 100%, 200% when it, when it comes to the game and when it comes to your commitment towards the game, commitment towards your achievement, uh, you know, to achieve things on your own, give that, uh, give that commitment from your side. Don't, don't take it for a grant. Okay, my mother paid money. Okay, I'm paying, I'm, I'm playing in this tournament or Shesha organized this tournament. Okay, we are getting a chance. Don't take it in that way, right? So when, whenever you get an opportunity, give your 200% for, your, for yourself and for the team. By doing that, I'm sure you will achieve many things in life, right? Okay, so congratulations once more for the winning team and you guys played. Of course, when you have uh, openers like Ethan and Aryan, so anything can be achieved. Whenever they go and they always end up <laughs> achieving hundreds and two hundreds. Nevertheless, you guys played with a brilliant team who has been playing for a long time together and with some, some of the kids are playing even under 14 uh, national, uh, under 14 council teams as well. So don't worry about today's loss. Take it as a like lesson, what, what you have learned. Try to improve them and try to do better in the next attempt, right? Okay, all the best and uh, God bless you all. Uh, thank you, Mr. Polon Novita. Uh, may I take this opportunity to invite you, uh, uh, Mr. Sheshad? Normally he don't talk much. I want at least two sentences from him. All right, just for congratulations. DP Ajabal Ali, they won that tournament. Hard luck for the DP Ajabal. All right, so I'll give that extra extra few minutes which I save from Mr. Sheshad to Mr. Prashant to address the forum, please. Hey, everyone, he want me, bring me in UE, and he is my godfather. Whatever I learned from everything from him, and he's a silent person, but he is the best person, and he produces lots of students in UE. Who all are playing now? Why do, uh, in the uh, UE national team, international team, maximum goes for YDC, and I'm lucky. I, I work with uh, ten years, but he say, person, you are always with me. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Uh, let's move on to the final presentation. Uh, there are a few uh, awards which we have added uh, in this uh, Ramadan challenge, such as uh, Best Wicket Keeper, Master Blaster. Those are some uh, important awards uh, we added in this uh, season. So may I call Mr. Najib uh, to give the uh, first two awards. Best Wicket Keeper. Any guesses, guys? All right, they have a tough competition between Ethan Jude and uh, Ayan Basin from JBS. The award goes to Ethan Jude. <laughs> well played, Ethan. When you announce the best wicket keeper, we can't forget the best fielder. Any guesses? I don't think you will guess this. No, always wicket keepers are getting the awards for more dismissals, so we thought of giving it for a non wicket keeper. The best field award goes to Ryan Delphin from SCS. Unfortunately, he is not here today to collect it. So that is. This is Ryan Delphin from SCS for three catches. Good fielding, Kevin. Yeah. May I call Mr. Dilsara Sasanka to uh, give the next two awards? Best bowler of the tournament. That goes to Team DPS, Sritish Raj. The skipper.
All right, Master Blaster, tough competition. Master Blaster. So the Master Blaster award we decided based on the number of boundaries. So number of fours and number of sixes. So it was a tough calculation for me to calculate everything. And with just six runs margin, the award goes to Aryan Tapar. Yeah. I must say the second, second, uh, second highest that is uh, Priyansh Hemal Patel. Hemal Patel from SCS. Just from six runs margin, uh, Ayan won that. May I call Mr. Presley Polon Novita and Sheshad both to award the last two individual awards? The best two for the tonight. Before I go to the man of the series, big award, man of the match. He has been brilliant throughout and why not today? 110 runs in 75 balls. The game changer, Aryan Tapar again. The biggest award of the night, man of the series. Yeah, uh, there are three names uh, in the top five from DPS team and one name from JBS team. But it has gone to one man who has taken his team throughout from the beginning and has been taken a few awards tonight as well. That's Priyash Patel from SCS. He has scored uh, one century and two half centuries. I have against them in 14 under 14. Yeah, we can take it actually. Yeah. I will give it to you. All right. Time for the runners up to take their medals and the trophy. Player of the team, player of the final. This one, you Player of the final. I know, I think he was given best batsman. No, no, you can no. player of the final. Player of the match, player of the final. And best batsman? Make a, no, no. I think it's one for, one for yeah. him. Best batsman is remaining. Yeah. Oh. All right. So I think he cannot carry all this. You can come and take the best batsman as well. Yeah. Who's the best batsman? You. You. you don't want? Uh, yeah. Who is it actually? It's you. you. Hey, Sorry, I thought it's given. He has scored 300 runs in just four games. It's brilliant from the throughout. So time for the runners up to take the medals. I request the captain to come at last. So I request all the DPS children to come take your medal over here and go around over there to JBS. Runners up for the under 11 Ramadan challenge. Team JBS. Why you were surprised? No, I thought uh, final doesn't count. All right, may I call the uh, captain of the JBS team and the coach as well, uh, Dilsara? Captain, captain is the captain. Before you take on the trophy, I would like to uh, have some. Uh, all right, we can go for the photo first. All right. Uh, 
all right so i think there is a uh, request from another player who want a speech but i want the captain also to stand over here so all right so uh, i would like to have some words with you what do you feel about uh, today's match and during the toss i remember you were saying that uh, less than 200 runs could be uh, a score which you can chase that extra 20 runs added to the total was that the extra runs or how do you feel about the game uh, had many runs remaining we lost by a big margin but uh, unluckily our, our openers and our one down we didn't play that well and we got out but also our uh, fielding bowling was not that great so that gave the other team a lot of runs and a, a lot of full tosses so then they won by that so did you all had any plan to uh, restrict the openers or get the opening stand out early because they have been playing brilliantly throughout last months so did you have any particular plan or you just uh, wanted to try out your best today we were trying our best but we mainly we wanted to get them uh, on dot balls we were trying to get them out on mainly dot balls so yeah. all right so we have the vice captain as well he wanted to uh, deliver something Well, uh, I'd like to start by saying that DPS played fantastic. Uh, from their bowling side and their batting side, very well played to Aryan Sapper, who's right there, hiding. Uh, but on our side, I think we could improve from not bowling that many extras and keeping it in line and length. Uh, although our batting side was fairly decent today. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Give a big round of applause to the captain and the vice captain. Thank you. May I call the champions today to take the medals, Captain Last. Captain Last. This is uh, before the before the finals. Oh what? thinking note yeah yeah so it was a great opportunity for the children as parents you know something and i will give you tapas on behalf of the parents parents sir uh, from jbs from the winning captain give a big round of applause to the winning team team dps